I've got some more now on Disney and its woke policies. Joining me is the uh, treasurer of South Carolina, Curtis Loftus, who joins us right now. Sir, why did you pull state funds out of Disney? Well, we've been watching Disney for a while, and it just seems like they've abandoned their fiduciary responsibilities to the investors. You know, you've watched the drop of their market cap, their stock's not performing as that should. The movies don't perform. You know, if I recall correctly, there were about seven movies in 2019 that broke a billion dollars. 2023, there are none. So, so is, this a, is this a political move or a, a straightforward economic move because you don't think the stock's going to do well? Well, it was straightforward and uh, economically uh, was one of the reasons we did it. But the, the biggest reason, the straw that broke the camel's back, was uh, when Bob Iger gangs up with Media My Matters, along with Walmart and IBM and the whole gang of billionaires, and tries to destroy a, a legitimate business in America. You know, Twitter, now known as X. I don't use it, but I don't understand why billionaires think that they can dictate to the middle and uh, middle class folks what they can and when they can what they can say and what they can say how much money just doesn't make sense. How, much, how much money are you actually taking out of disney we we had 105 million dollars of debt for them and that's rolling off and now we're looking at the equity portfolios it's two, two tranches so that'll take us a few weeks to go through that and i'm not sure what the amount of that is that comes out of a six billion dollar equity portfolio so it, it could be a significant amount we're not going to cause Disney any real harm. I just want other people to see that you can stand up to these people and you live to, to, sure. to invest another day. There are plenty of good investments out there that aren't as risky as Disney. Uh, you're the treasurer of South Carolina and you support Trump in 2024. Nikki Haley is a former governor of South Carolina. Why do you not support her, but you support Trump? Well, you know, I've known Nikki uh, a long time. We served together. I like Nikki and consider her a friend. But it goes back to the same reason we're, we've dumped the, the, the uh, debt instruments with Disney. I'm not going to be beholden to the billionaire class. Nikki, unfortunately, is. Larry Fink, Jamie Dimon, Bob Iger, the whole crowd, they're the ones who are out there raising money. And then, you know, it's, they're going to be the, the people who uh, decide what happens. We've got to stand up to the billionaire class. Our country was not founded on the principle of billionaires running things. It was founded on the principle of the large working middle class being in charge. That's why we have a democracy. So we've got to stand up. And uh, my friend Nikki knows how I feel about this. I'm definitely for Trump because I think uh, I told him once, I said, you're the only man, woman or beast on this planet that will stand up to what you have to do in Washington, D.C. Man, woman or beast. I like that expression. Curtis Loftus, treasurer of South Carolina. Thanks for being with us, sir. We always appreciate it. Thank you very yes, much. Yes, sir. Very nice.